I'm Captain Monty Graham with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. This week when the winds have been light, we've still been coming out to the south jetty and working from the inside all the way out to the bend. Um, we've been using live shrimp out here or fresh cut Manhattan. Uh, we've been catching redfish out here, been a lot of slot reds. There's been bull reds out here. Uh, there have been jackervales. If you have shrimp, uh, there's still been a few sheephead around. We've even been catching gag groupers out here. So there's still a lot of fish all around the jetties. Uh, there's manhaden coming in. There's mullet coming in. So there's a lot of bait fish coming into our bays right now. Also, if you just work these rock piles along, along the jetties, uh, there's been a lot of good slot reds through here. Uh, early in the morning, we've been using just free lighting shrimp. There have been good numbers of uh, speckled trout through here, some, you know, 20s to 23s. Uh, just remember you're allowed three. That's all that you're allowed per person. And the slot is 17 to 23. So just keep that in mind. But there are a lot of good fish all around Port Aransas right now coming into our bays. Um, so and they're just coming in and what I like been doing is is coming down and they're just falling into these little guts coming into the back lakes. So you can sit on the outside if you got a deep V bottom boat and just work these edges. Um, like I said, cut mullet, live mullet, manhaden, um, live shrimp catches a lot more fish, but you know, it takes a lot more shorter ones to get to your bigger ones. So a lot of good fish coming in. They just fall off right here in South Bay. If you get on this edge all around here, um, those of you with those shallow water boats, if you can get back here in these back lakes through this uh, back gut, uh, there's been black drum back here. There have been redfish through here. But the water has been up um, higher than usual. So you can get them bigger boats in these shallow, shallower spots. Just be careful. If you haven't been in there before, just take your time or... Or go with somebody that has been in there. So there are a lot of good fish coming into our bays right from the Gulf right now. Another thing we've been targeting is them redfish have been coming in. And they've been hitting this Lillian shoreline right here. And they've just been following, going north. So all this edge right here, there have been sharks uh, being caught. There's been cow no rays. There have been uh, big black drum. There have been speckled trout. There have been slot reds and and oversized reds. Uh, just working this edge and working these little inlets and these little little back coves coming off this Lillian Channel here. I've uh, been using live mullet, uh, cup mullet, Manhattan, uh, also live shrimp has been working real well uh, on them outgoing tides, sitting on the outside and fish fall off uh, coming out of these back little guts and they're just falling off right through here and they're continuing their way uh, around quarantine right now uh, quarantine is holding good redfish uh, they've been trout over here on this shell uh, just there's some coves coming into it and sandbars um, potholes are holding fish if you can get them baits right in those sand holes and just leave them don't don't reel don't touch the baits just let it set uh, that's the main thing right now but these fish are sitting in these in these grass, these sand holes right here, and there's been good numbers of fish. If you come over here on shell bank, uh, work them cut bait or live bait all on this shell bank right here. Been good numbers of redfish all on this area here before Big Bayou. Those of you that are looking for trout early in the morning, those of you that like to wade, get over here in between Trailer Island and Big Cut, and big bayou and start drop off right here and start working this edge there's been redfish through here there have been good numbers of trout uh, i've been using live shrimp under a popping court and been catching good numbers of, of trout and redfish through here also if you come into big cut and come on through the channel and once you come in come on back up along this back edge you can kind of see the sand pocket and the shell bank right through here. Them redfish have been holding all this back corner back here. And also on the other side, 
on this island. There's some cuts that go into these little back lakes. Uh, there have been redfish just holding up on the outside right here. So still a lot of good fish coming in, and they're just dropping right into these flats. Early in the morning, you can get a live shrimp and a poppy cork or your favorite plastic, a down south or a Berkeley gulp, and get on a good drift. And you'll catch a lot of smalls, but there are good numbers of trout through here on a drift. There's also been good numbers of redfish. Just make it slow. On those windy days, you might need two drift socks, um, but that's okay. Just slow that boat down where you can really work that that area good, and then once you do find them, then you can put the power pole down and, and get your limit. So work it slow is the thing right now. Also, if you want to run south, we've been coming around and getting over here on Stedman's. Stedman's holding good redfish. Uh, same deal, cut bait or live bait, your choice. Uh, some days they want perch, some days they want manhaden, some days they want mullet. Uh, but if you work it long enough and, and got the bait, you're going to find those fish. Uh, Stedman's is holding good fish. It seems like them fish are hanging on the outside right now. So all the way down Ransom and Ransom Point. Uh, this week we've even using uh, cut manhaden. We've been catching big trout. You know, from 21s to 24s on just cut manhaden, uh, working the sand pockets. Uh, when the sun's out, you can really see those pockets. Get those baits right there in them sand holes and try, try not to move the baits. That's the main thing right now. Uh, even if they nibble on it a little bit, uh, don't move it. Let them really pull it down before you set the hook. But all on the outside, uh, there's some islands out here that you can get around. Uh, even down towards Dagger, there's uh, rock walls that's holding redfish through here that have been mixed in with trout. A uh, lot of good fish working this outside edge right now. Uh, I've been parking about two, two and a half foot of water and throwing up tight, getting in the sand pockets, and we've been getting our box of fish. Uh, some days are faster than others, but if you stick with it and just keep bumping down and keep them baits in the sand holes, you're going to wind up with a box full of fish. Thanks for watching. This is Captain Monogram.